nichtig. Do you want to cheat? Eh, probably no. All right, go ahead. And good uh, luck. And you too. Uh, I would start with um, daydream number one, I think. He will uh, just uh, lucid dream, Kirsty. So, uh, one, oh, probably I need to flip three cards and remove two after that uh, he will tries to uh, lead the nightmare to chompy i need five succeed so chompy goes up to here we win four for dreamer after that do the same to Serena succeed so Serena goes up to three inches up to here and uh, oh. and he's done all right gonna activate Bo Peep he is going to attempt her um what is it called uh the race is on I believe is yep Needs a, a five to go off. Sure. It goes off. She has a built-in trigger to allow herself to push more. So we're going to start by pushing. Um, and all, um, because of the boar, all of my beast models ignore severe terrain. So yep. one, two, three. We're going to go one, two, three. Um. We're going to go one, two, three, two, three, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, and I'm gonna go back to how we're gonna do this way. We're gonna go one, two, three, four. Then she's gonna take her second action to walk one, two. She's not a beast, so she's gonna not ignore that. Um, three. That's one walk. Uh, she's uh, a beast, but not a. Pig. Uh, She's not a pig yet. Oh, she's a beast. You're correct. So she doesn't know that. So I have six. And uh, she's going to reckless to focus. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, so, um. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Probably let's. Let's go with. Hmm. Choices, choices. Uh, let's go with uh, doll number one. Uh, it uh, constraints. Uh, goes up to here. And uh, is done. Okay. No bonus action. Um, gonna have the swine curse go. She's just gonna walk. Um, she's within Penelope Zora, so she has a six walk. So one, two, three, four, five, six. She's going to drop a scheme marker, and she's going to go ahead and use that scheme marker to try to make a little piggy. Um, needs a six to go um, off. It goes off. So she's going to make piglet number four, and she takes a point of damage. Oh, yeah. So, All right. Um, no, I understand how how free actions. <laughs> sure. And she's done. And she's done. Uh, okay. And the pig is mindless, so you don't get a pass token. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, let's go with here.
probably let's go with Dreamer now. Uh, Dreamer fiercely with his bonus action, bad dreams, and six. And not, but probably I will check to succeed. So all my uh, nightmares will be four. It get shielded. Shot E, shot E, shot E, shot E, shot E, shot E. Uh, also, may push up to two inches in any direction. Uh, so I will push Taden up to here, uh, Chompy up to here, uh, Serena up to here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this one up to here. So and uh, with the rear up to here and bundle smash up to here as well. After that uh, he'll do just one walk. Mm -hmm. Up to here. Five inches. Same measure as before. Uh, after that, he tries to summon daydream and out. So I well, masks. I will use my stone for that. Mm -hmm. uh, so my stone. Uh, oh, succeed! Yeah. Very okay. Much so. <laughs> Not needed a stone. But okay, it's uh, so Alf and Daydream are buried now. So one and uh, Alf. So after that, he will just concentrate. So it's all for Dreamer. One walk, one concentrate, one summon, and bonus action. Okay. Um. Penelope will go. She is going to attempt to um, hurt him on the uh, the Fabor. Needs a, a six, seven to go off. Yep. It goes off. She gets her trigger to uh, reposition. He is going to uh, just walk one, two. Make sure I got his aura in. Looking six. Yeah, we're good. Five, six. Um, and then she's going to reposition to go one, two, to there. Then she is going to attempt to. Um, Hurt him on old major needs a seven to go off again. It does not go off, so she is done. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, okay. So I think Penelope uh, Thief on one six inch six. Okay. Good measurement. Measurement. Uh, Okay. <laughs> Let's let's let's. Uh, oh, also, you get uh, two pastel ones from summons. Right, there you go. Um, let's go with thunder snatch. I think. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, bundle snatch. So he will just uh, walks once up to here. Mm -hmm. After that, he will um, drops a marker, web marker. So, okay. Uh, let me see. Green flowers. flowers. No, probably I just drop this so I can be in base contact. Probably up to here would be fine. Um, mm -hmm. And you know, probably he will just go away up to here. Um, okay. Cannot be within your within six of singles. So. Sounds good. Um. And within three inches of building, so it's cover. So okay. Uh, old Major is going to go. He is going to just walk one, two, and three. He's going to pull the slop hauler with him. Sure. And then he is going to attempt to, um, he was going to discard a card to do nudge on. Uh, um, I'm going to discard this, uh, Three to make this little piggy down here push one, two, three. Sure. And uh, old major is done. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, probably uh, let's go now with wicked doll number two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wicked doll number two. Uh, tries to uh, creep along to a bandersnatch, succeeds, so up to move up to here, then concentrates, and uh, he's done. Nothing okay. Else. Um, Um, hmm. Ulix is gonna go, he's gonna move one, two, three. Uh, he ignores other models. Because, What's that? Uh, you go yeah. straight from... Yeah. Yep. Okay. Six. Um, he's going to go right there. He is starting out within um, Old Major's Aura, so he gets an add, he gets a uh, plus to all damage flips. Um, but right now, I'm going to focus and take a shot at um, Vandersnatch. It's a 12-inch gun. Um, stat 6, ignores friendly fire. Yeah, I'm got cover. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna spend my focus to get around, or I just gonna spend my focus anyway. So even though there's no concealment, well, I guess I do have concealment. Uh, does the web markers don't give concealment, do they? No, they okay. don't. Yeah, so only uh, severe. Okay. So I am currently on uh, thirteen. So uh, I understand you correctly that you got a uh, plus flip from Focus and plus flip from Old Major, yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, then... And it's your second take, yes? 
uh, third IP because we have constant. Mm -hmm. Then I will cheat this up to 19. 19? All right. Um, I'll go to a 20 with the burning trigger. <laughs> okay. Um, nice. <laughs> so okay, it so will be straight. On a straight flip. Yeah, straight flip. It'll be a straight flip, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So straight flip is... Um, we'll pop it up to a moderate of four. And um, you must discard a card or gain adversary beast. And you and all enemies within two inches of you get burning plus one. Yeah, I understand. So those get burning, burning, and... Uh... Uh, ah, I just missed a little we were sad. as well, and Mother Snatch gets two damage because of shielded. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me see about uh, who you got left, uh, because uh, so old major already gone. So Swin uh, who are left mm -hmm. from your side of crew? P2, um, P2, I have P1. this piglet down here. Yeah, P2, P1, um, and Old Major. And Old Major not uh, gone yet? He has, P oh yeah, he did go. Sorry, the Slop Hauler is the... Slop Hauler and Fire Peak already gone, yes? Mm -hmm. um, I think it will be fine to stay with uh, Adversary this turn. Okay. Because you so, how many wounds to... does Banner Snatch have left? Five. Okay. He has a he has nine wounds to start. Uh, seven wounds and seven wounds and oh, uh, sorry, 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 sorry. I'm uh, okay. I'm thought about uh, shielded and uh, about uh, damage track three, but okay. Uh, so f uh, four goes one less so it's free damage okay um then i'm going to use the emblazon ability on um old major it needs a four to go off it goes off old major is going to be pushed seven inches so he's going to go one one two three four i don't think i can make it past five six no. uh, probably not seven no i can't so we're going to go to right there, and uh, that's who looks done. Okay. I see. Uh, pa -pa 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 -pa. So you know what? So pick one, pick two. Fire pick already done. done. You know what? Yeah, the Fey Pig is not gone either. Ah, okay. uh, Penelope moved it. Yeah, that's where. Yeah. Okay. So. So. Okay, uh, probably I need to go right now with, I think, I think, uh, what I can, um, so, you know what, probably I will go with Widow Weaver right now. Mm -hmm. Uh, so she uh, teleports to web marker. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In base contact with symbol and within one inch of uh, your master. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not ignore these markers just in case of severe terrain. Uh, this ah, an unaffected. Okay, seems fine. 
So after that, after that, after that, let's draw here. Let's okay. Let's just uh, hit Onyx. Yeah, against defense. Okay. Yep, Venom defense strike. four. Okay. Nine. Apparently on a fourteen. Fourteen. Mm. And I'm keeping track of Ulux's hit points on this upgrade. Yeah, bar I, I, because... I saw. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, let's. I got fourteen. Yes. Probably I will go to fourteen as. Uh, yeah, let's go to 14 as well. We trigger that okay. uh, creates a uh, destructible save. Alright, and I'm hard to wound. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's four cards. A week of two and one poison. Okay. Um, poison is no matter what, correct? No matter what, yes. Okay. And I create up to here serial marker. It's great, yes. Uh, great, yes. So nothing can be touched. Let's so it here. Within one inch of him. After okay. that. Let me see. Let's try it again. Okay. So Ooh, 18. That's a big number. I'm just gonna cheat up to a 15. Uh, so it's minus flea, uh, double neck. Uh, it will be fine mm -hmm. for me. Three cards. Uh, week of two and one poison. So poison two. Poison. Okay. Oh. Um, and I will stone that one once. Just go ahead and take one. Yep. Sure. Uh, after that bonus action, I will create a uh, uh, web marker. Probably, oh, sorry. And up to here. And okay. It's up to here. Two and six. So it's up to yep. All right. Sounds Start. good. Um. This. We'll do the Fey Pig next. He's going to attempt to germinate. Needs a six to go off. It goes off without the trigger. I should have pulled this out beforehand. Hold on a second. There we go. All right, so. All right, then he is going to um, discard a card to ambush, and he's just he's going to ambush down into here. And as soon as he does that, he teleports to here. I think he has to be completely within six. So. Um. Uh, oh yeah, probably. But you need to okay, be so completely within, so he need be yeah, on the top of this marker. Yeah. In this so case. so one, probably two, oh, and right then he can he teleport. Yeah, yeah. Then he okay. can teleport completely within, and then his last AP is going to be to push this marker to or place this marker two inches. Yep. Okay. Um, why? It was the... where? He he ambushes a free ambushes oh, yeah. a bonus yeah, action. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So sure. you bonus wall. Uh, yeah, I I see. Germany, gotcha. And he's done. I gotcha. Uh, so. Uh, po, 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 po. Okay. Uh, now let's go with uh, day number three. Let me see. 
Um, yeah, daydream number two. Daydream number two will try uh, fiercely uh, lucid dream. So three cards. And I'll discard these five. So after that, uh, he will just uh, lead the dreams target Serena. Uh, fails, but I will cheat to succeed. So Serena goes up to three inches, but uh, we don't have it here. Wait a moment. Yeah, probably there will be fine. Okay. Uh, after that, uh, do the same to Chunky. Mm -hmm. Succeed. So Chunky goes up to three inches. Uh, probably up to here. Mm -hmm. So he's done. Okay. Um, this piglet is going to declare a walk action. He's going to go one, two, three, four, five, and six. And he's going to bring the flop hauler with him. Then he's going to go one, two, three, four, five. Kind of shift onto there. Bring the slop hauler with him. He's going to spend his last AP because he can reckless to move the marker. Okay. And he is done. And he is done. Sure. Uh, let's go with Serena. Serena fiercely walks up to here. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. So, uh, win, uh, loss, and something is going to go up to here. But okay, um, so it goes up to here. After that, uh, bonus action to heal Bandersnatch. Even three. I need uh, a four for that. Uh, succeeds, so heals, uh, heals by. Two, mm -hmm. heal, heal, and uh, get rid of booting. Uh, after that, should be it now. So, your hands. Probably, if I will be up to heal. Probably just constraints. Okay. Uh, Slob Holler is going to go. He is going to attack. The Banner Snatch is terrifying, correct? Uh, nope. Actually, nope. Nope. All right. He's going to attempt to uh, uh, attack the Banner Snatch with his um, Toss Slop. It's a five version defense. Uh, symbols are concealing, so you get minus two. Ah, shit. I did not place properly. Okay then. Um, never mind then. That's a different story. Um, our web markers are not concealing, correct? Uh, web markers not. Only okay. Symbols. We're gonna we're gonna toss slop on a widow weaver then. On the it's a weaver. friendly fire. Um, sh it is friendly fire. Gah, I'm having a rough time today. Uh, let's see. Do I want to move? Do I want to do? What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Um, we are going to I can do that if I do the ring calling it. Right here, so that puts 
so it's within three, which is kind of where I want to be. All right, then he's going to, um, it has to be up here because he's got a bit of a charge lane. Let's see. Is it all? What is Control V? Is that the? How do you make the charge lane? Uh, Control C. Control uh, Alt C. Alt C. Alt C. Okay. And Alt V. Uh, correction. Okay, cool. So I can go right. You can use Shift. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna charge uh, Widow Weaver. She is terrifying. I know. Yes, terrifying. Um, Twelve. Yeah. All right. Um, he is. He needs an eight for this. It might not work. It does not work. And so, um, I guess I mean, fuck, I forgot it. You can drop an alp. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Thanks a lot. That's okay. Uh, yeah, I just totally forgot about that, but that's uh, that's cool. Okay. Uh, probably I'll drop him this time. Uh, so let me see. Uh, where I want to place it. Uh, yeah. Oh, in the plot. Okay. Probably I will place it somewhere here. Mm -hmm. And it will immediately be attack make an attack against you uh, because mm -hmm. one spell activation on place. Uh, I'm got positive because I'm got uh, friendly knight in my wood. So mm -hmm. oh oh beautiful five all right. <laughs> um, then he is last AP. He is going to um, uh, feed the piggies, which needs a four to go off. It goes off, it gets the trigger. Um, oh, you must declare. So, oh, yeah, uh, but anyways, you can push any. Up yeah, to, I can push so. any any pigs up to or closer to them that are within six. Oh, only right, Ulix. Right. And, <laughs> yeah, only Ulix matters for that. Um, yeah. But I'm going to heal Ulix three. Nice. That was that was good. Um, and I'm gonna just yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and push Ulix towards him. One, uh, one. There we go. So basically, Ulix is just gonna pop right there. Only um, not in the building, but it's okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Basically, if uh, okay. Ah, uh, yeah. It's it's so hard to see on these maps. Hold on one second. Let me pull in. Yeah, right there. Okay. Um, and uh, he has a bonus action. He can't really use at the moment because there are no steam markers or scrap course markers in. So he's done. He's done. Okay. Probably I will go with uh, outside now. Why not? So, uh, I will attack uh, your s slope howler. Okay. Pulse. So, uh, 12. On a uh, 10. 12, 12. Uh, so, minus flip. Mm -hmm. Damage. Moderate of 3. Ooh. Okay. And uh, let's try again. Nope, you're slow. I'm not slow, I'm stunned. Oh, so you're stunned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Black oh, Joker. Damn. Ten versus okay. your five. Yes. Five. Uh, so minus mm -hmm. flip. Severe of uh, four. There you go. All right. Yeah. So he dies. He heals all pigs within three. Um. Uh, you can choose. You can choose. And only yeah. one pig. Yeah. Um. I don't care. He's dead. It's fine. He's we'll dead. Mark or yeah, no course markers. So. I don't need any quartz markers around. Okay. Uh, so okay. Alp is done. 
Yeah, it was a really good turn that I just handed to you. It was super cool. <laughs> um, I guess this pig at the bottom will go. He's going to go... He doesn't have the... So one, two, three, four, five, six. I think he's now within six of the pig to get... No. Okay, so... One and a half, one, two, three, four, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to go ahead and reckless to go one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. And he's done. And he's done. Okay. Uh, so I'm looking to. <laughs> I completely forgot that Ulix had swagger too. He would have had a focus anyway. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Damn it. Yeah. So, I got champion and they do. And you got nothing? I have nothing left, yeah. Okay. Um, let me see. So, Uh, these rocks are all size 2 or only this one and this one size 1? Uh, it's all size 2. Okay. I don't think there's any, yeah. Okay. And then... Uh, um, Uh, five pig uh, size two, three, three. Yeah, yeah, he's size three. No, size, size two. two. He's size oh. two. So I. He's tiny. Weird. Okay. So uh, let me see. Then probably I can do. Oh, I forgot there are underbrush markers. Mm -hmm. It can reduce damage by two. Uh, what? Um, the underbrush marker it can it can eat the underbrush marker to reduce damage by two. Oh, when friend beast. Uh, oh yeah, and these well as well. Okay. Uh, then probably. I should go by other things. <sighs> Okay, uh, let's go up to here and after that uh, twist of the reality to your totem uh, against willpower, stat 6. Okay, shoot this. 14. Our willpower is 4. Currently a uh, 10. 10, 14, so it's minus flip. No triggers. Um, week of two. Okay, she's at one. You fail there, so I summon uh, Alp. Uh, not Alp, Dead Uh In base contact with you, you got uh, mm -hmm. engaged range, so I think he can't shoot you. 
Yeah. Oh, it's okay. not uh, this one. Well, they so, automatically get attacked yeah. too. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah, uh, Daydream doesn't have. Uh, oh, it's a Daydream. Sorry. Shooting. Okay. Yeah. So it's fine. Uh, okay. So let's do Lucid Dream now. So against the same. Uh, it's Lord Chunky Beats. Oh, Lucid Dream. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so uh, discard, and after that uh, we'll go dating. He okay. uh, will bend the reality against uh, Penelope. So attack. Oh, fifteen. Uh, you hit. So it's uh, he's straight. Yes. Mm -hmm. Fifteen. Okay. So there that. Is that? After that, uh, let me see. Let me see. Uh, you know what? Probably. You know what? I will do. Uh, lead the nightmare to a video review. Um, I will cheat, succeed. So okay. she will go just up to here to not be uh, mm -hmm. in your endangered range. Okay. And after that, uh, lucid dream and discard this one. All right. Send to fight deck. Send to fight deck. And send to fight deck. That'll be the turn. Uh, yes, this will be a turn. So she'll okay. go off. Discard this four. Uh, so, oh. Six. Uh, I will discard these two. Also, I'm gonna do stone for two cards. Lucid, uh, lucid dreams cards. Get back to the deck. This to discard the pile. So it will be five and three. Okay. That shuffle to ten. You know what? Probably I will stone. Uh, to get more cards, one, two, and discard this one and this three. Okay. So the initiative. Initiative clip. I have a plus three to your plus two. Yep. Five. <laughs> um. Okay. And oh, uh, those get a one from burning both of them. And mm -hmm. uh, this one is condition. Yeah, it's condition. You know what? Probably it's fine to me. Uh, Ulux get uh, one damage from poison. Just in case. Yes. He's down to 13. Yeah. Um, for me, I guess. Mm. No, it's fine. Okay. Okay. Um, hmm. Um, we're I think we're gonna go with Ulix. He's going to um, shoot Widow Weaver with his bow. Sure, uh, but you know that there are one line uh, with symbols. Uh, God, these symbols are annoying. Yeah. Um. 
Yeah, that's that's not great. You know what? That's fine because he can walk, which will just nudge him into base contact. Yeah. So we're just gonna nudge myself into base contact with you. Okay. All right. Um, which gives him a focus because he walked. Yeah, sure. Uh, um. And then he will uh, give you burning one because he moved into base contact with you. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. He is going to attack you with his tusks, the stat six versus defense. Um, he's going to go ahead and use his... Um, Yeah, he's going to go ahead and use his focus. Okay. So um. It will be 13 for me for now, and for you it's 18. 18. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Uh, so it will be straight for you. Um, it'll be a double it'll be a positive because i get a plus from old major oh i see i see yeah, yeah. um okay you know what probably i oh i forgot about one thing uh um uh does reader weaver have a token from killing from up killing your uh slop holder have what uh there are um after enemy model within six killed by nightmare model this model may, uh, may uh this model gains a stuffing token okay um is, is she have? yeah yeah she would because it's not here i mean he doesn't drop any markers but that's but if you kill a model then yeah you gain a token okay uh then probably i would cheat to oh it's double. Mm. No, go straight. Ah, second, second attack, second attack. Mm. So one here. Uh, this will be four, six, probably six, six. Okay, so you got a uh, minus flip. Uh, uh, pl uh pl plus flip. Plus flip. For this one. Plus, uh, yeah, okay. Um, how many wounds does she have total? Eight? Eight. Okay, I'm actually going to cheat it to a... You're at a what? A 13 right now? 13. Alright, I'm going to cheat it to a 14 to get the shove aside trigger. Okay. So that'll be um, a negative to a straight, correct? Uh, wait a moment. Uh, the um, difference still is on your side. So uh, minus sleep because of difference and double pause uh, because of this one. So it will be a pause for you anyways. Positive flip, okay. So it's a severe, so six damage. I will use stone. For that okay so stone uh negate two so goes to up to four one two three four i'm gonna push her one uh one oh. okay yep so i'm gonna push her one two three she's just gonna bounce right there um he gets the push but he doesn't ignore that uh symbol so he's just gonna hang out where he is okay um and uh, I'm going to use my hunter's bow, um, targeting the Alp. I'm going to um, uh, 
No, I'm going to target the Widow Weaver. We're going to shoot the Widow Weaver. Um, I'm going to... Um... Ooh, do I want to stone for a mass? This is where this is where we go. This is where we get into tricky territory, my friend. Um, so, you are stoning or what? I'm thinking. Sorry. Okay. Um, uh, yeah. Sorry. It's it's. I see new no, new title. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, it's just it's just determining kind of what I what's going to be the most important thing to do here, like, and looking at the cards in my hand and everything. Um, but we're gonna go ahead for it. We're gonna um, no, we're just gonna shoot. We're not gonna stop. We're just gonna shoot. So it's a stat um, so six, six versus your defense. Hello. Uh, that's not high. All right. Um. I will not cheat it. It's not gonna get cheated. Okay. Um, and so for her lap for my last AP, I'm going to use a bacon beeline. It needs a. Uh, wait a moment. You got uh, walk. Attack. Yeah. Sorry, attack. My, my bonus action. This is my bonus action. Okay. Sure. Um. Put both of them there. That's perfect. Um. Yeah, I will uh, bacon beeline, which is a stat. I need a four for it to go off, so it's gonna go off. I'm gonna cheat in this to get the uh, trigger, and he's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And when he runs through you guys, they're each gonna get burning. Yep. And then I'm going to pull off the burning, or I'm going to, since you went through, they also take two damage. Yeah, uh, I'll get this one, but uh, with the weirdo, I will stone. Okay. So no damage. And then he will, he went through two models with burning, so he uh, gets to wait a moment. Warping. Wait a moment. Uh, he, mm -hmm. When he moved, uh, he there one. was You're only right. one uh, burning model. Right. So we'll make him a squealer instead at four coming in at four wounds okay um and ulix is done and Ulix is done okay i see <laughs> Puh, 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 puh. Oh, and Widow Weaver needs to discard a card or gain adversary. Oh, I see. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, no, because I missed. I missed. I'm sorry. I, I missed the attack. Never mind. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Um, tum, tum, tum. Actually, it's quite interesting. Um... Was within eight inches of well, I yeah, I was within eight inches of Bo Peep, so Ulix heals one. Yep, so many new models to make sure I got all the rules. <laughs> yep, uh, let me see, let me see what can I do. So, we do we really doesn't have. Um, does Screamer, uh, I probably check by myself, uh, so, oh, I see. Um, uh, can I, as part of your action, because you cheated as last bonus action, uh, push with my scamper? Right yes. Now? Okay. Uh, nice. Uh, then uh, it will be two inches. Uh, then I will push Champion up to here. Ah, that's not an inch. Sorry, hold on one second. Trying to get that off of controller. What? Sorry, I'm trying to get that 
Chargora off of. I don't know. Uh, why it's not I'll see. I'll see. There we go. Okay. So I. Push All right. So here. you're pushing Choppy. Mm -hmm. Yep. After that, uh, he'll activate. Mm -hmm. He will charge. Uh, up to here. One, two, three, four. Uh, near the marker. Okay. And uh, we'll hit your squiller. Okay. Probably. Let me see. Oh. Mm, no. Wait a moment. Probably I want to go with my uh, blade rush uh, near you. Uh, not with um, symbol. Okay. So it will be better. Uh, so we get one point of damage already. Yep. And after that, it will be uh, attack against your defense. Mm -hmm. Start six. So it's 12. Uh, I the one. All right, I have a six. So it will be execute, just in case. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, it will be straight flip, as I understand. Yes. Five, six defense, yes. Oh, uh, severe of six. He dies. And um... it's skin marker. Okay. Uh, then I will use this uh, skin marker to trial and go. Mm -hmm. And hit uh, Ulux with a uh, okay. close. 17. Man, I'm not flipping high there. Okay, I am currently on a uh, 6. 6, 17, it's straight flip. Um, yep. Uh, yeah. Straight flip. It's hard to land. Goes to zero of 6. Ooh, all right, I'm going to stone it. Sure. And take 4. Down to 10. Okay. Um... You know what? Probably I will continue. Why not? Uh, second action. Okay. 15? Uh, 13. So hit with minus. Mm -hmm. uh, with double minus. Because of hard to win. Uh, mm -hmm. Black Joker. Five no time. damage. There we go. Okay. Uh, also Squealer. Uh, dies, so uh, Vidurir gets another token. Yeah. And uh, how I can mark it? Uh, which one? Okay. I will get some token. Uh, you can go, probably because uh, no actions more from Chompy. We'll go with the um, the Fey Pig. It's going to germinate. Uh, it goes off. We. Where do I want to put this? I'm gonna put it there. Um, no, that's okay. We're gonna do this. We're gonna cheat it down so that I get the reposition trigger. I'm gonna put it right here. Here, so I can be number six. Yep, and then I'm going to um, reposition out of the um, marker, and then I'm going to ambush. Oh, I gotta, gotta not be on top of that piglet. Uh, I'm gonna ambush. I'm gonna discard this four to um, ambush right back into the underbrush marker, right 
there and pop over to this one. And then I'm going to germinate again. Um, and I'll cheat in this time to make another marker. Okay. A lot of markers. And I'm going to place it directly under this. Okay. Uh, you create markers, no? You yeah. create. You yeah. can't. Uh, uh... Oh, it is create, isn't it? Yes. Mm, so it can't be in base contact with any markers. Or yep. The, in base contact with any marker or model. It's not a drop. It's a create. That's yeah. sad. So I can't really use it for that purpose. But that's okay. We'll put it up here. Okay. And uh, yeah, I guess he's done. He's done. Uh, okay. Okay. Let me see. What can be done? Uh, you know what? Probably I would go with with the river now. Yeah, why not? Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, there are no models that can heal you, yes? Uh, uh, not anymore, no. No. Nice. Needs position is quite good. Um, you know what? Probably I will go not with Widow Weaver right now, but with uh, Daydream number three, because probably mm -hmm. he will die there. Uh, and he will just lose dream fiercely. Um, so three cards. Uh, I will discard these three. After that, he will uh, just. Reality. Mm. Yeah, probably twist the reality to uh, Ulix against mm -hmm. defense. So it's not four it's not against four. four. Yeah, it's twelve. Yeah, you got it. So to my five. Well, five. So uh, it's uh, double neck. Oh, twelve and five. Uh, it's only neck. Yeah, single negative. So, uh, so yeah, like this one. Okay. I will shuffle these uh, at well. So mm -hmm. one damage. Yep. And after that, I will try it again. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Seventeen. Uh, seventeen. So it's four cards. Mm -hmm. Uh, we took one. And uh, he's done. done. All right. Uh... This piglet over here is going to go uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Four. And be done. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, pa -pa 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 uh, you know what? Probably right now it will be fine to start with Widow Weaver. Uh, Widow Weaver uh, start activation will teleport to this one marker near your endangered range. Even one. After that, uh, she will. Um, yep, yeah, after here. After that, she will try to summon Stitch from uh, scup, uh, from her marker uh, token that she got from killing. Near, uh, I need uh, 9 of math, so I will use Stone for that. Um, I will cheat to yep. get this one. So, summon Stitch with uh, Slow. Okay. Uh, up to here, I believe. Not in base contact with you. Uh, after that, she probably will try to do it again. I will 
also use stone for that. Mm -hmm. uh, so I will cheat to succeed with here. Well, so uh, another stitch. Here. Yeah, that's I'm calling it, dude. That's game. You got this. You got this. <sighs> I, I can't win. I, I can't win after you have two stitches. Two stitches on one turn. There's absolutely no way. You're good. Yep. <laughs> that's that's game. Uh, I, I'm not even. I'm sorry. I'm I'm not even gonna play against all of that. Like, that's. Yep. I. That's. I fed you two stitched like an idiot. So that's game. Yep. This was quite uh, quite fine for me to get two tokens so within. Yeah, no, it was really, really stupid turn. of me. Yeah, it was really stupid of me. I, I should, yeah. You probably I didn't even realize. Uh, you probably shouldn't. Um, you, you probably should uh, kill Widow Weaver when she was uh, near you, because you got uh, positives uh, on damage, and probably with your damage track, it will be better. Uh, yeah, I couldn't. Shosai. I didn't have anything. I didn't have anything above a seven in my hand, so the chances that I would have swung in well was was and, and actually killed you was low oh um, i see i just I didn't see. have yeah i didn't have any hand pressure like the highest card in my hand that turn was a seven. Oh, so and that I was understand. after stoning i yeah. got a uh, so. nine twelve twelve it's yeah. the most uh... so that's why that's why i was trying to like figure out how i could do you know enough um enough pressure i yeah, I see. Yeah, and it just wasn't, and it just just didn't happen. Um, yeah, probably. I should never. I shouldn't have run that flop holler into you over there. I should have. Yeah. On that first turn, I should have focused and shot into the bander snatch instead. Yeah, um, probably it will be better. Didn't do that. Yeah. Um, uh, also, yeah. I mean, it was just bad decisions on my part. It's new models you know kind of relearning i had forgotten that she gets i had forgotten that she gets tokens when nightmare creatures kill other creatures so that made like a big difference yeah probably um but at this point like i can't there's there's no way i can like i'm gonna get the strat points at least at the yeah, beginning turn you will get uh strats anyway uh yeah. this part Seriously, and I will get. I, yeah, I can't and I, go there. I would get that. Uh, and uh, the the pig that you killed was a hidden martyr. So... Uh, uh, this one. Yeah. Yeah, I thought about it, but uh, but uh, it, it was worth it. It it yeah. worth it. Uh, also, yeah. uh, which one was second target? Uh, old major. Old major. Oh, I see. Yeah, uh, yeah probably. And I, I wouldn't kill left, him so... anyways. This turn. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. And then my other one was assassinate, and like, ah, uh, there's no way I'm getting a dreamer. I uh, I, like, I I saw it. I I predicted yeah. it. Uh, this that's why I selected uh, on the top and near the building. Yeah. Side, because hide. it was uh, quite uh, quite annoying to get one damage, uh, one attack focused uh, to kill Dimmer if it's maybe not. In position. Uh, yeah. I'm also got assassinate, as you see. Yeah, I figured. Uh, mm -hmm. And second one was um, also hidden matters. Uh, only this doll and champion. Yeah. Uh, probably uh, I was thinking that uh, second turn uh, this doll will get this symbol and probably will be in the any engaged. Yeah. So it will be fine to lose there. Uh, and Sienna fiercely should uh, heal it so no booting. Just yeah. because. <sighs> I really needed to. I really needed to kill Widow Weaver right then and there. And yep. I think I would have been okay. I, I really think I would have been fine if I had killed Widow Weaver on that activation. But I just didn't have the cards to do it. Yeah, probably. There, there was uh, my plan to sit down in, uh, my deployment zone for first turn um, yeah. to get uh, right. some cards and try to figure out how its summon engine works um, 
because your replacement is uh, the best scenario if you are engaged with me and yeah. if you are not then i'm get uh, more uh more from this uh, long term run yeah well i think too like what I, another thing that i should have done on turn 1 is remove that marker the web marker that you dropped uh, yep yep probably probably it will cost uh, will will cost me more resources than uh, you would have. Yeah, you would have had to walk through. And yeah. then Ulix could have, when you guys were in this corner, Ulix could have shot in and put burning, and you know what I mean, like put some more pressure there on Serena having to do her job. Um, so that's that's probably what I should have done. But new master learning new rules, like yeah, sure. The slot hauler should have been behind. Uh, Ulix just healing him up and was not so. It's it's you know new stuff, learning new rules, trying to figure out how things play. Yep, sure. Uh, I see. That pig is insane. <laughs> that, that pig is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, the uh, the new one, the Neverborn the one. The new one, yes, uh, I see. <laughs> it's it's a lot of movement. It's ignore yeah. of um, severe terrain. It's really annoying. Yeah, it is. He gets where he yeah he gets also, where he needs to be. Also, also, I'm I'm thought that uh, maybe I missed this, uh, but I think thought that you could uh, do this once per activation. You could uh, move uh, her with six placement any time when he, uh, she was pushed by uh, other activations as well. Yes. Yeah. It's any. It's once per activation any time. So yeah, you can. Um, you forgot um, it's about only, it, or no, it's your play? no, because it's only it's only in two. So I started the tur I started the um, I started the uh, deployment in the severe already. So yeah. when when she pushed, yeah, when she pushed, she could he couldn't have moved, and he couldn't have teleported because he was already in the severe terrain. At least that's how I interpret it. The word says into terrain. So if he's already there. That's why I use that to pull out and then pop back in. Because I think if he already starts in the severe terrain, even if he moves within it, he doesn't move into it. So that's just kind of how I interpret the rules at the moment. Okay. Into, into implies he has to be outside of the terrain before he starts to push. Or the move. Oh, I... I when this one... Oh, yeah, I see, I see. Now I see. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Then probably you should uh, go with Penelope or who uh, who pushed the, all your stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He should be up here or here. To yeah, just, he should have been just, outside uh, of it probably. Yeah. But that's that's fine. He was where he needed to be on that turn anyway. I wasn't yeah, super worried about him. Um, knowing Ulix was going to get kind of stuck in there, I maybe should have... I don't know. I maybe should have put a marker up there before Ulix went to just kind of have that yeah, space to... the strategy you know, marker to... just annoyed you a lot, I thought. Yeah. This one. And... There's, there's, there was... And that spot was really, honestly, kind of bad for Ulix to be in in the first place. Yep. <laughs> the, I should have the... maybe moved the marker. Like, there were a couple things I could have done. Like, well, maybe also... kick the marker first. Also, with your deployment, I was surprised that uh, we, uh, you uh, place it here, I place it here, mm -hmm. you place it here, and place it here, and uh, when I place it here, you place it all your band here. I was surprised yeah. with that uh, because you uh, give me opportunity with your big, big, bigger uh, bases to stop up to here with yeah. two checkpoints. Well... Yeah, and I was just really trying to hope. I was hoping that I could get you more centered into this this area um, over here uh, between the houses, so the Ulix could just kind of shoot into you, and because uh, he can shoot while engaged. So he's just he was hoping to. I was hoping to get him like caught in and then just fire into your guys while you didn't have a lot of space to spread out. Um. Because I can move, he can move his other pigs through himself. So if he's blocking up that area, he can bring like. If the piglet is down here, 
he can push this piglet like all the way through your guys yeah. for damage. I see. You know, so so that was I wasn't super worried about that. I just uh sort of misplayed what I what I wanted to do, but that's all right. Yep. It's like I said, for learning a learning time. a brand new brand new master. It's like the it's the third time I've played this version of him. I played a lot of him in the play test, but he changed quite a bit. Yeah. How? So. How are you for uh, <sighs> Tell me. I still feel like it's amazing that Widow Weaver did not get touched at all in the errata. She is so stupid good. <laughs> uh, with Bandersnatch, yes. With yeah. Pair. Even without the Bandersnatch, she's still with... really super mobile and uh, summon without... one of the best models in the game. Yeah, but without Bandersnatch, there's no so mobility, uh, no so mobility only prepared mobility for turn. Uh, last yeah, time. I mean, yeah, she has to wait for the next turn to do it, but that's fine. Like, she's still faster than almost every other model. Like, even without the Panda's Nat, she just can, on turn, she can summon a web marker on turn one and on turn two teleport six inches. Like, that's, that's pretty good. Yep. And summoning, you know, just, just casually summoning one of the best models in the game. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> I uh, played previous tournaments with Arcanist, so I I know this stuff hurts. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she's not as she's not as busted as like Corfi. Corfi absolutely need work. Um, I don't know. Nope. Uh, actually, about Corfi, I can tell them are quite squishy. If you get armor ignore, it's um or attacks against willpower. Uh, yeah, stun uh, works also very well against them because um, that get uh, triggers and uh, bonus action is action, so no good split apart and so on. Yeah. Also, yeah, being able to to keep them from doing bonus actions. Also, is really good. it's uh, if you quite um, uh, training with uh, playing against Corfi, you can predict when it will be their activation and then you can try to kill one of them and yeah it's well be... that's the that's the thing is that you have to be able to kill you have to be able to kill one or kill them before they activate like when they split you have to be able to kill that one before it activates um but up until at least titles came around bayou did not have a great way to do that because yeah. All of our, uh, all of our armor piercing was locked behind um, triggers that are not built in. So it'll be a little easier now, I think, because we've got several good options. But it was a uh, very difficult beforehand. Like they just kind of ran the board. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I'm not knowing a lot of buyers, so. It's uh, I may say that it's my first game against uh, Ulix apart. I'm only played against uh, Henchman Hardcore, some some sort uh, with uh, yeah. pigs. So it's uh, more or less knowable stuff for me. But uh, well, against Ulix one is uh, not very good. He's he's he has a lot of good stuff, but his Everything in his crew, everything in Ulix One requires like sixes or seven. Actually, most of it's sevens to do what he wants to do, and then you know big cards to summon off of or to, to replace off of. So like the hand pressure is just insane because he doesn't have any good hand card draw in his you know in his keyword. So um, it's very hard to play Ulix One, but Ulix Two. I think does a lot better because he feels a lot more. Actually, Ulix two kind of reminds me a little bit of um, of Nekima, yeah. where he's got a lot of like big damage swings and um, he kind of helps push up and support his part, the rest of his crew, but also like he's super fast and hits really freaking hard. Um, the positive flips from old Major Zora on his attacks is so good. Yeah. Also, adversary against Carp, it's 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then like Bo Peep adding extra healing is nice. Um, that's pretty. The the Fey Pig being able to like uh, give him some damage reduction and ignore severe terrain is really good. He's a he's a solid pick. Yeah, I see. I uh, just I made some bad plays this game. <laughs> Turn one. I, I I literally think I lost the game on turn one. I should not have pushed that slop hauler where it was. He should have stayed back. Yep. And probably Ulix as well. He should have I think Ulix here. is here. No, I think he's fine where he was. Oh. I think if I'd have, because if I'd have had if I'd have had cards in my hands, Widow Weaver would have been dead right there. Like mm, maybe. it was a gamble. You know, it was a gamble, but any decent sized cards in my hand would have meant I could have killed Widow Weaver or at least put enough pressure on her to scare her. And she would have only been able to summon one stitched instead of summoning two, which it's the two stitched right now that kills me, especially not having any healing coming out, you know, left. So if the slop hauler was still there to heal, it would have been a different story. Yeah. Because the slop hauler could have been sitting right behind him. Uh, oh well, it, it it was a good game. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Talk to you later. Yep. Bye.